Welcome boys and girls to level 5.1, Fraction Word Problems. Word problems and fractions get a little tricky because unlike addition and subtraction, you don't have keywords that let you know what you're going to do. So you have to think, you really have to think, what is the problem asking you to do? So as always, let's start out by reading the problem. Let's start with this one. Mr. Morris ate five-sixths of a pizza, while Mrs. Godfrey ate six-ninths of a pizza. Who ate more pizza? Okay, I hear the word who ate more. I'm thinking more or less. That sounds like comparing. I'm going to compare these two fractions because you're trying to figure out which fraction is bigger. Who ate the most pizza? And the best way to do that is to use your butterfly method. So I'm going to put my fractions next to each other and use my butterfly method. Circling my 5 and 9, multiplying those, I get 45. And then my 6 and 6 gets me 36. And 45 is bigger than 36, so I know this fraction is bigger, 5, 6. And I look up here, and Mr. Morse ate 5, 6. So Mr. Morse ate more pizza. Let's try that again here. Amy ate three-fourths of a cake, while Anna ate one-half of a cake. Who ate more cake? Once again, I'm going to compare these two fractions. Three-fourths in comparison to one-half. Which fraction is bigger? Easiest way, butterfly method. Circling these two, I get six. Circling these two, I get four. And I know four is smaller than 6, so I could even put in my sign and see that 3 fourths is larger, and Amy is the one who ate 3 fourths of a cake, so she ate more pizza, or cake. Let's go on to this one. There was a pizza at the party that was divided into 12 pieces. At the end of the party, three slices were left. What is the fraction of pizza that was eaten? Okay, so this one's not a comparing one, but I'm going to draw, I'm going to figure out how many pieces were actually eaten if I know that three slices were left. So I'm going to draw my pizza as best as I can. Sorry. Um, there's halves, fours, eighths. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to see in, see in front of us how much pizza there is. Okay, so there we go. We've got 12 pieces. I know that three slices were eaten. So those, I'm sorry, those three were left. It tells me right here, three slices were left. They're still there at the party. I'm going to highlight the rest, and that's going to be what was eaten. All these pieces were gone. They are no longer there, so they are eaten because there's only three left. So I'm going to write my fraction here. I have 12 pieces total, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pieces that were eaten. So, 9 twelfths of the pizza was eaten. Okay, let's try this one. Jenny brings a large donut to school. She shares it with seven friends. How much of the donut does one friend get? Okay, once again, I'm going to draw my donut as best as I can and it was divided into seven pieces so I'm going to divide this as equally as I can that's six pieces so let's divide that one another one so we got one two three four five six seven so if one friend she gave each piece to seven friends one friend gets this much she, they get one piece of the seven piece donut so, I've got my fraction right there. One piece is shaded for one friend, and I've got seven pieces total. So, one friend gets one-seventh of the donut. There you have it, boys and girls. Good luck on your level here. I hope you do your best. Thanks for watching.